Charlotte Victoria was born to a wealthy family of wolves in the darkest forest. Although she had a happy childhood, she still spent her later years roaming, lamenting in the dark areas of the wood. Although the wandering years in the dark wood were very dark indeed, Charlotte had a vision, a dream. She saw the light shimmering from beyond the trees and decided that she would set up the dollhouse cabaret. With a cast of eclectic characters, the cabaret was off to a flying start and the curtain lifted on the darkest of hours. This band of merry widows had made light of their darkest hours. The cabaret was a success. The puppets, yeah. Well, I never really set out to do puppets really, but um, I needed a chorus line and uh, I couldn't afford to pay anybody. Um, the squirrel girls, um, they offered, but they were just they were just asking for too many nuts. Um, so I said no, you know. Because I, I was uh, very poor at the time, I didn't have enough string to make the puppets be you know, seen without my hands being seen as well. I, I didn't have enough money for the string, so basically they ended up being more of a, a comical element. One grumpy night after the second act, the girls decided they were going to move into the movie. They believed that their art should be seen by the wider audience in the world, not just the cabaret audience. They felt their message could stretch out throughout the land through a cinema. But then, tragedy struck. Blind Vincent was arrested for killing an audience member in his notorious knife-throwing act. Hattie got off with claims of insanity, but Vincent was sentenced to life. Under constant attack from the forest press and threats of closure due to lewd content in the cabaret, the doll house closed its doors. It was my own fault to an extent, you know, employing a blind bat that threw knives. Um, I thought it was a gimmick, I thought it was funny. Um, obviously, once someone dies, um, you know, because of this, um, this, this joke, <laughs> uh, it just doesn't seem funny anymore. Uh, and once he got sent down, we, we got a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, bad reviews really a lot of bad reviews um people seemed angry um you know I, we were getting a full house every night still but i just felt it wasn't for the right reasons i felt that people were coming to see if there was going to be another horrendous accident um with the cabaret closed the residents of the forest had nowhere to go 
Panic and outrage reign throughout the forest. Fans set fire to local buildings and newspaper offices. Chaos reigned. Thanks to violent demands, the dollhouse opened its doors once more. The gang were back together again, and despite various disputes between the acts, the cabaret was a roaring success. He... He wants, um... He wants to take the tiny teacup dancers hostage. Um, overnight, in the biscuit tin, and... I dislike them. I don't dislike them. I just don't like Priscilla. Um, big much having to pay her, to be honest. Who claims that I knew her beard was false? This is completely untrue. I didn't know until Feline first stole the beard. I didn't know it was fake. You, you know, stop speaking to me because I'm going to slip my wrists. Um. During the making of the documentary, there was scandal yet again at the dollhouse. The talks of a missing tiara, Charlotte Victoria, went missing. Some say she went to the Alps. Others say she was dead. No one can be sure. All we know is that the legacy Charlotte left behind was of epic proportions.